The mesmerizing night at the Critics' Choice Association Awards, centered around the critically acclaimed show P Valley, unfolded into a nearly four-hour spectacle filled with recognition, emotion, and inspiration. Notably, Meghan Markle was ejected from the event due to her absurd actions that seemed to undermine the efforts of the black community. The evening began with a bang, featuring the renowned actor, comedian, producer, and musician, Jamie Foxx, alongside his co-star from the film The Burial, Jory Smet. This dynamic duo set the tone for the evening, with Smet paying a heartfelt tribute to Fox, acknowledging his outstanding career and significant contributions to the entertainment industry. However, what truly made the moment touching was Jamie Foxx's emotional revelation about his recent health scare. A source close to Fox and some of the celebrities attending the awards ceremony revealed that Meghan Markle wasn't nominated for a Netflix movie. Despite featuring several people of color in her series, including her co-star Jory Smith and Christopher Bowie. In terms of achievements in the film industry, Meghan appeared to have little to contribute. Furthermore, her track record suggested an anti-black sentiment, despite her frequent preaching about anti-discrimination. Many threads on social media called out Meghan's alleged anti-blackness and appropriation, pointing out that Meghan lacked friends of color and often failed to acknowledge her black family members. Meghan's history included primarily white friends, attending predominantly white colleges, and even passing as white on official documents. Some noted her teenage nose job and her continued preference for straightened hair while seemingly mocking the culture of her white family. However, Meghan seemed to conveniently embrace her black heritage when it suited her cause, like inviting her mother, Doria, and an African-American preacher to her wedding. But she allegedly blacklisted Doria's family while extending invitations to those she barely knew. The Oprah deal raised eyebrows, prompting questions about why Meghan suddenly emphasized her black heritage when she is not particularly dark-skinned and was known to apply spray tan regularly. Observers speculated that Meghan and Prince Harry may have exploited their newfound black identity as part of a strategy to gain favor with the American public. Returning to the awards ceremony, Jamie Foxx's presence was a highlight. He was visibly moved as he attended his first public event at the Critics' Choice Association Awards, celebrating achievements in cinema and television, particularly those of Black, Latino, and AAPI individuals. The Oscar-winning actor received the Vanguard Award, presented by his co-star from The Burial, Journey Smet. As Jamie Foxx made his way to the stage, the audience erupted in a resounding ovation, recognizing his remarkable journey and recovery from a mysterious health scare in April. Fox, in his emotional and lengthy 12-minute speech, shared his deep appreciation for life and art, reflecting on the challenges he faced during his recovery. He mentioned how he couldn't have walked just six months ago and spoke about seeing a tunnel without the light during his ordeal. He emphasized the importance of not giving up on one's art and the newfound respect he had for both life and his craft. Jamie Foxx's eldest daughter, Corinne, had previously informed fans about her father's medical complications, which had led to his hospitalization in Atlanta in April. Details regarding the nature of Fox's health issues had remained scarce in the weeks following his hospitalization. In essence, the night at the Critics' Choice Association Awards was a powerful mix of recognition, emotional revelations, 